Okay, I want to talk about the Cordova Device Ready event. Uh, so I've created a Cordova project here. Um, I called it Device Ready. You can see I have the contents of my project here. I've already run the Cordova Create command to create my project. I've done Cordova Add Android or Cordova Platform Add Android to add Android to my project and I have an emulator running and I also have my phone plugged in. So I've got the USB connected to my phone and I've got an emulator running so I've got two options here. If I run the ADB devices command this is going to tell me what devices I have available and it's telling me that sure enough I have a device which is the emulator right here that I have running, running. and I also have a device right here connected and running. So I could run my application on either one. So if I want Cordova run Android, I can just do that. It's going to take its preference, usually the device, or I can specify that I want to do it as emulator or dash dash device. If I say emulator, what it's going to do is it's going to build my project. There we go. It's going to install and it's going to launch my application. So here it is running on the emulator. If I were to do the Cordova run Android dash dash device, then it will launch it on my phone, doing the exact same thing as we did before. Now, if you're looking for references for this, on the Cordova Apache.org documentation, inside the CLI reference, this is the command line interface reference, there is a list of all the possible commands and if you jump down to Cordova run command that's where we are right here the Cordova run command you see Cordova run and then you specify the platform after that you can specify a bunch of different options device or emulator or target equals and the target name that was the thing that we saw over here in the terminal um, I went back, where was it here, just before the last command ran. Yeah, ADB devices, here it is. So this is a target name, and this is a target name. So we can specify that, target equals, and then the name that we would see from ADB devices. All right, now that's just getting it up and running. There it is running. I'll close that. I don't need to have that running. I'm going to jump over into brackets and take a look at my project. So here's the whole thing. www, that is where your website is stored. And inside, there's our JavaScript file, the index.js. This is inside of the JS folder inside of www. index.html, that's the web page. I have to get rid of the copyright notices and so on, and all the comments in here. You can see down at the bottom, Cordova.js is being connected. When the project builds, this will be placed in. You won't actually have that here inside your project, but pointing to it within the root folder where your HTML is, this will automatically be loaded when your project is built. JS index.js, that's the file that we're looking at. Now, jumping back over to that, I'm going to just take absolutely everything inside here and delete it. There we go. Nothing in my index.js file. What I want to do is I want to use that device ready event. So what is it, first of all? Well, if I was building any sort of web page where I wanted to have some JavaScript working with the DOM, I do a document add event listener DOM content loaded. And let's say it points to a function called init. Now, whatever syntax you use for writing the function init, it can be that, it could be the new const init equals function. We could even use the ES6 functions, const init equals, and then the arrow function like that. However you're writing your functions, we're adding the event listener. This is the one we're listening for, and it's going to call 
one of these versions of this function. So I'll get rid of those other two, or here, I'll just comment them out. This is the function that's going to run. And that works fine, and you can do this inside your Cordova apps. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The only thing you have to be careful about is the fact that Cordova, in order to do all the wonderful mobile things that it does, needs to know when its plugins have finished loading. So when the Cordova JavaScript has connected with the Android device and knows how to use the camera and it knows how to use the uh, internal storage and so on, or whatever other plugins you're using from Cordova, we don't know when that's going to happen. DOM content loaded doesn't tell us when that's happened. This only tells us, hey, you know what? Your JavaScript has been open and read. Your HTML has been opened and read. So I'm aware of everything on your page, and I'm aware of what scripts are connected to your page. I know nothing about the plugins, though. And that's what Device Ready does. By changing this to Device Ready, we are calling on an event that is inside of the Cordova JS file. There is a, an event, a custom event, created in there by Cordova, uh, by the guys who build Cordova, which listens for DOM content loaded, as well as the plugins being loaded. Once all of your plugins are loaded and DOM content loaded, once all of those events have fired, that's what triggers device ready. Then we can do whatever we like. So something that I never like doing, but in this term, in this example, we'll do it here. Uh, so alert the device ready event has fired. Save it, come back to our terminal, clear that off, and run this with the emulator one more time, rebuild our project using our new JavaScript that only has what we used, and there it is. Device ready event has fired. And that's all there is to it. It's just, if you're building something that's only running in the browser, all you really have to worry about is DOM content loaded. If you're building something for Cordova, if you're building a mobile app, device ready, that's the event that we have to wait for. Once that fires, we know DOM content loaded has already fired, but now we also have our plugins. And that's it. Any questions, please leave in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.